Now we're in this tutorial we're going to talk about our first operating system. You may think this is going to be super complicated, but no. Bootloaders, I can show you how to create a super simple bootloader that's super easy, just a few lines to boot, and then it can run any assembly code you've learned so far, except ones that interrupt 21s. Don't those with a simple bootloader don't seem to just execute properly, but you know how I showed you how to display a full string with 0 eh that will work all those changing console colors and stuff like that with um you know the tenth interrupt and move it's not actually the tenth but just interrupt ten and all that stuff with moving your cursor around all that stuff will work and how I showed you, you can use the thirteen inter interrupt thirteen to get a key press that will work but with all your operating systems since it's gonna boot with the BIOS which all operating systems boot with the BIOS but usually they don't use it BIOS is built into your computer it's basically what starts your operating systems um, it's that thing that looks like the console before your computer is actually booted up in Windows um, or whatever operating system you're using um, so we're actually going to write our operating system and it's going to use the BIOS so the um what's cool about it is its BIOS looks just like this console right here cmd.exe so when we use the BIOS like this when we're not actually like creating super fancy stuff like this Windows XP or Windows 7 we're just going to use the simple console and what's cool about it is it's just what all the stuff we've learned will work there except int 21 so um first we need to make a bootloader and you notice I'm not going to write org 100 at the top I said org 100 make com files we're not making a com file we're making an image file which is a virtual floppy disk which you may think this is going to be so complicated I'm going to boot my operating system and download all this software no the only software you need is VirtualBox you can download that pre VirtualBox allows you to emulate your so um, your operating systems on your computer. Um, that I'm using VirtualBox to emulate this Windows XP. Um, so you're going to use that to emulate your operating system because it's VirtualBox meant to emulate um, operating systems. So our bootloader is just going to tell the BIOS how to start our codes. So this is really since this is so short. Oh yeah, but by the way, an image file, like I said, is virtual floppy. So if somehow you have a floppy and a floppy burner that can burn image files and a super old computer with that takes floppies, you wouldn't need any software. But obviously, I don't expect you to have that. So you're just going to download VirtualBox. Um, this bootloader is really simple, so you don't have to understand much about it first part just kind of like stacks and data and all this stuff and tells and then um, just let me show you we, we gotta put a value into our SS register like I said this has to do with data and stacks and stuff not, not much you really need to understand at this point so since we can't move our value directly into here we're going to first move it into AX and then move AX into SS because we can't just move 9H into SS we gotta kind of move them over like that. Now, mov. Now we gotta put something into SP, and that just simply we're gonna go with 4,069 decimal. That's right. All right. And my, I think it's 4,096 is the best, most proper. Now, mov. Again, we you got to put something to DS, but it can't be put directly. So we're going to first put into AX zero or seven C zero D no, zero H. Um, now move into DS AX, and that's it. That's it. This just deals with stacks and getting correct data space and stuff. And this right here just tells you where to start booting your code. Now everything after here let me put some comments. When you put a semicolon as you can see it highlights it gray anything after a semicolon see Bob then all this is gray. I think I went over this in the debug ones um, that's, those are comments 
anything after the semicolon won't be compiled in your code. So, um, so these mean nothing. All the gray text like this means nothing. Doesn't do anything. It just comments. Um, so my point is, anything after these codes will boot. Um, so all, all except for int twenty one and everything, all your assembly you've learned so far will work. So we're just going to make a basic display the seven key code. This will just write the seven key on the screen. Move. The reason I put another one here because there's something we got to write at the end of our code. I'll show you. I can show you that right here. Times five ten minus dollar sign minus dollar sign dollar sign zero define by declare byte zero. This just has to do with make sure everything's the right size. Again, you don't really have to completely understand this. Just know you need it. Now you gotta have your standard computer signature. You put this at the end of your image file, your standard computer signature is just what it says, your computer signature. Now, in, this is just all part of our bootloader. Anything below he, these two lines, or anything above these two lines, and below these two, these five lines, is where you want to have all your assembly code. So you're going to say, mob, remember, 0EH is for displaying a hex string, or it's it doesn't have to be hex. What you put here is the ASCII value. I'm going to make this one hex, 37 hex, because I remember those easily. 37 hex is the hex for the 7 key. Remember, go to ASCII.nl in, or CL. Just go to that website and you can see all the hex values for the characters. Now, in 10H. Now, our operating system, after we display it, when you're coding an operating system such as like Windows, every operating system works like this. Your operating system never stops working. Because if your operating system stopped working, it would crash and just lock up. Your operating system's always working. It's always doing something. It's always stuck in an endless loop. Now, that's how our operating systems are going to be, such as uh, mine. I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, it, the endless loop is it's always checking for a key press and you can use the lost key to move a little box around and that's kinda like your cursor on your desktop and so it's always stuck in an endless loop checking for that cursor for when you press the key to move it around but we're not going to really create a complicated endless loop so if we put jump to a dollar sign that will create just a quick endless loop so Jump to a dollar sign will create a quick endless loop, so our operating system will just kind of stick here and stop. Um, so th these are our codes right here. You know when you put this into your assembly, it's going to write the seven key on the console, and you know jump dollar sign puts it in a loop. So you already know this. The only new stuff we went over is up here and down here. This is just part of your bootloader. But all this is just normal assembly you've learned already in the older tutorials. Now when you compile this, run compile, um, you're going to see this file appear in your desktop. Since we didn't write or 100H at the top, we're not going to get a com file. We're going to get a bin file. Now all we want to do, we can we want to open up cmd.exe, just start run cmd.exe, and type in cd desktop. And I'll bring you to your desktop. Now, what you want to do is we're going to copy. We can also use rename, but we're going to go ahead and copy it. Copy, you want to use slash b to make sure it copies the binary of your file. And we're just going to copy hello.bin, which is our file we just compiled, to hello.image, which is img. So all we really did was just copy our file with a different file extension. We didn't do any super converting or anything. We basically just changed the name of it. Um, we changed the name of it so it would be read properly. Because your computer reads files based on their file extension. And we just changed the extension to IMG so it will be read correctly. So now it knows this code we wrote is meant for a virtual floppy. Or a dot image file. Um, now what we can do, we can load virtual box.
and I'll show you real quick how to make it. See your virtual floppy right here. My ic the icon looks like that because I have another software installed called Win Image, which we're not going to use. But here I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I'm going to show you how to create your own. Delete all files. First, you want to click New. You should see an empty thing like this when you first load VirtualBox. When you hit New, hit Next. Now, type in the name of your operating system. Let's say My OS. And now, we do, it doesn't matter our OS type. This is just for looks. I'm going to just click Other and then Other or Unknown. This is just kind of like it's just whatever your own operating system. Now, don't bother with memory. Just click Next, Next. Next, click on click clicking next. Now our operating system is really simple. We don't need two gigabytes. We can go ahead and lower this all the way down to like 60, 60 something megabytes. Hit next, create, create, and there. Now this won't run your floppy disk. To run your floppy disk, you gotta click your operating system, click settings up here. Now once that loads, you want to click storage, and then down here at this plus sign, once it loads, click the plus sign to add a controller and add a floppy controller. This is just going to make it where it will be able to boot in our floppy. Now click add floppy device, choose disk, then on your desktop, click your file you just made, hello.image, um, hello.img, now click OK. Now double click this. Now when it loads, it's going to emulate your um, operating system. See, so just writes the seven key. Now it's going to say this. If you get a lot of pop-ups, just hit "Do not show this message again." It doesn't really matter. Um, you can just hit like cancel or capture. It doesn't really matter, but. Here's your operating system. We just emulated it. It's just seven. Now, that's actually it for our operating system. Um, just the seven key. That's our basic operating system. How to run it, how to code it. We'll go more in depth in coding um, in future ones, but that's it for.